Well, we love to celebrate milestone birthdays from turning 1 to 21, mm -hmm. but it's not every day that someone hits the century mark. Well, three people in Rochester did just that. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Samantha Boring sat down with each of them to hear their stories and what it means to reach that milestone. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Brianna and Rachel. Well, I've never met someone who's lived through so much history until I met these three. This is Donna, she just turned 101. This is Dale, he just turned 100. And this is Robert, he'll turn 100 in just two weeks. They all live at the Homestead Rochester and just take a look at some of the things they've accomplished and learned in this past century. The Homestead Rochester houses so many people full of history, stories, and memories. Oh yes, I have memories, memories, memories. Donna, Dale, and Robert all are reaching their milestone birthdays and they've got many stories to share. Donna Anderson was born on November 2nd, 1919 in Dover, Minnesota. Here I am, 101 years old, and to me, it's just awesome. Her memories go back to her childhood. Living with a blind father. He was kicked by a horse when he was five years old, and I grew up with this man who, in Dover, he was well known as Dover's blind genius because my dad could do anything. She hated doing the dishes and got out of it by helping out all the local ladies. All these little old ladies wanted their hair pin curled. And guess what? I got 10 cents. And I thought I had the world by the tail. Donna was an advertising specialist at Apache Mall for 25 years and married her husband at 20 years old and had three children. Oh yes, that's one of my biggest accomplishments. <laughs> I had two girls and a boy and some wonderful grandkids and great grandkids. That bell's over 100 years old. Dale Rousey turned 100 years old on December 20th and was born in 1920. I guess I feel I'm lucky. I don't know. <laughs> what else? Dale was born in Jacksonville, Illinois. He grew up on a farm and worked with plumbing and heating. I belonged to the plumbers and five fitters. Union. He received a 75-year pin last year. I'll hand out many of them. <laughs> I noticed I was the only one. He also worked on one of the first nuclear reactors. It ran two big generators and supplied electric for I don't know how many thousand people. And Robert Levin, the youngest of the group, will turn 100 on January 6th. He was born in Parsons, Kansas in 1921. I went to Harvard in 1938. And tuition was a bit cheaper back then. Amounted to $1,100. He met his wife after trying out dancing. One was the name Vicki Crosby. At first night, it was so easy to talk to. He asked her to be his dance partner. So she was my partner while we danced. She only was my partner for life. Once in the workforce, Robert was asked to work on something huge. You might know the name, the Manhattan Project. He wasn't allowed to tell anyone, not even his wife. Because you're in the, under the articles of war, and if you release the fact that this exists, we would call it treason and we'll shoot you made a big impression. Robert isn't the only one who remembers living through different wars and history. Aviation Ordnance Band on a PBM patrol bomber and also a top deck gunner. I lost my brother in World War II. Through it all, each one of them has learned so much and has so much to share, all living to reach a milestone in their own ways. I've been blessed with a good memory and a good mind and a good family. I've been married for 73 years with love. That's why I'm still here. Well, all of them told me how thankful they are to Homestead for keeping them safe during this pandemic. And Homestead definitely does have a lot of history with Donna, Dale, and Robert living there. They actually have three others turning 100 later this year. Amazing. Sammy. I know, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Stop it. He's been 73 years he's been married with love, and that's why he's Such still here. Such incredible people. Oh. Thank you so much for sharing their story. That Absolutely. is the bright spot to end 2020 with it right sure there. It is incredible.